By popular request, here is how to build your own tumbler from the Dark Knight in minifigure scale. This year marks the 10th anniversary of one of the best Batman films ever made. Batmobile The Complete History was an excellent reference. My first goal for this project was to keep it as close to minifigure scale as possible. In the films, the tumbler is barely 5 feet tall, so a LEGO minifig scale version should be a bit shorter than Batman's minifigure itself. The bat pod should be a bit shorter than the tumbler and nowhere near as long. Despite its toughness, the tumbler is not a large vehicle. While LEGO's UCS set is very detailed, it is far too large for minifigure scale. Even set 788, which was released as movie tie-in, is much larger than it should be. Also, there's no bat pod to eject from the tumbler. Although lacking in detail, the Bat vs. Bane set was actually the right size. So this was my starting point, but with more accuracy and more functionality. Here's the finished build. Ideally, it would have been about one plate thickness shorter. Maybe you can improve upon my design. For the rear, I used larger tires with treads. And in the front, I used smoother, smaller tires. My next goal was a bat pod that ejected exactly like in the film. Let's take a look at that iconic scene. After being hit by the Joker's RPG, the tumbler initiates its eject sequence. The front left tire begins to spin to become the bat pod's front. The armor on the sides retracts back. This allows the bat pod to explode out of the front of the tumbler. The right front tire swings back to become the bat pod's rear. And Batman speeds off to continue his mission. Here's how it works on my Lego version. My next goal was a hatch that would open, like in the films. The entire windscreen would lift up, then it would retract. Chris Nolan described this like a flower's petals retracting. My Lego version, the entire windshield of the cockpit lifts, then the entire roof piece slides back. Here's how to build your own along with all the parts that you'll need. Start with a basic chassis, just like set 76001, and add these plates to the underside. Then flip it over. Add whatever slopes, tiles, and pieces you need for the cockpit for detail. Here's everything you'll need for the rear wheel assembly. The axle and pin connector will become the suspension attached to the rear axle assembly. The studs on the two Technic bricks will face upwards along with the connector toggle joints. The four studs on this bracket will face toward the rear of the tumbler. The round tile, Technic pin, and drive ring will attach to the bracket. The pins with clips will go into the connector toggle joints and the gold bar attaches to their clips. The plate with clips will hold the corner bricks together. Place it just in front of the rear wheels assembly. And snap the gold bar into the single clip. Here's what you'll need for the left side, same for the right, but the opposite for the 2x3 wedge plate. These three parts will form the air intakes just in front of the rear tire. Then place this assembly in front of the intakes. The tumbler is not all black. Look closely in the film and you'll see several small gold parts. Then put the spoilers right behind the air intakes. Here's what the two sides would look like from the front, 
from the rear and from the side. Two of these six plates will stack together in the middle, the others go to the sides. Then place the plate and handlebars on top of them and the corner plates to the sides. The brick and axle pin will hold the bat pot in place while the two by six plate will hold it in place. The one by three bricks are gonna go to the rear inside the cockpit. Put the two one by one bricks in the front, just behind the forward slopes, and the two plates on top of the one by three bricks. Then place these rail bricks on top of the two plates. The inverted slopes face to the rear while the regular slopes face forward. All of these plates will help lock down the slopes and the other bricks. These tiles will help lock everything down and allow the roof to retract smoothly. Make sure the tiles with clips are spaced to attach to the brick studs. For the front armor, I'm only going to show one side. The other one's the same, but opposite. The numbers are how many pieces you'll need for both sides. Just one gold piece to add a little color to the front. The tile will attach to the one stud on the jumper plate. The roof and hatch will be built as three separate sub-assemblies. Make sure you use the right kind of plate with a handle to the side. The bar is just a basic black lightsaber bar. The extra 1x2 plates will add the right amount of space. And here's how the three sub-assemblies fit together. The bat pod is probably the most difficult sub-assembly to build. Pause here to make sure that you have all the pieces you're gonna need. The two plates with fingers are gonna attach sideways to the Technic bricks, Technic pins. The four plates go on top. The black plate with two clips is going to float until the tile locks it down. Here's the same step from another view. The axle connectors with finger hinges secure the tires in place and allow them to rotate forward and back. Here's a little more gold to add some color to the front. Since there's no handlebars, use the plate to attach the minifigure's feet. Put the axle and pin connector into the remaining hole on the bat pod. Swing the front side armor closed. Now your tumbler is ready to go. Now let's see what you can do to make this design even better. Let me know in the comments how you would improve on it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Here's all the parts you'll need. They shouldn't be too hard to find. Good luck.